In this episode, episode five, we're going to talk about how to deal with doubt. Doubt sucks, okay? I hate it, you hate it, but we all struggle with it. But how do we push through that self-doubt? Check this out. Welcome to the Depression Talks podcast. My name is Emmanuel. I'm a YouTube creator and certified life coach dedicated to changing the mental health stigma. On this podcast, we openly talk about depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem, but you'll also hear some coaching tips that has helped many people take action and transform their lives. No matter what you're going through, I promise you are not alone. Alright, if I were to be honest, I definitely struggle with doubt on a daily basis. But this is not going to be a sob story. I'm going to tell you two mindsets that will help you look at doubt in a different way. The first mindset is this. It is better to try than to not try at all. I hate doubt. You struggle with it. I struggle with it. But at the end of the day, it comes down to what you can do about it. Most likely, the reason why we doubt ourselves is because we are afraid of something that we are unable to control. We are unable to control the outcome. Will this work? Will it not work? We are unable to control other people's emotions and feelings. If I do this, will they hate it or will they like it? We are unable to control a lot of these situations, but we begin to doubt ourselves and say, well, I'm not going to do it. Well, I shouldn't even try. This is the continuous cycle that doubt continues to put us all through. But the way to break it is to tell yourself, well, at least I am trying. I am doing my best. If I don't try, then I'm not going to make any progress in the first place. And plus, if I don't try, then no matter what outcome I was afraid of, whatever I was unable to control, it's not even going to happen anyways. Nothing's going to happen if I don't try. Let me give you an example. I have a really close friend and he is amazing at making beats. And if you're listening to this podcast, you know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> but he makes amazing beats. There was a certain amount of time that went by where he was so afraid of putting his music out there. He was worried. He doubted that it wasn't good enough already, that he was comparing his music to other people that were producing beats. And I told him, just put your stuff out there. If people don't like it, so what? I'm telling you that the quality of the stuff that you're making is amazing already. And plus, who cares about the opinions of others? But he doubted that it was not good enough. He was like, it has to be better. It has to be better. It's never going to be perfect. And that is okay. But the doubt was in the way of him putting his music out to potentially thousands and thousands of people that would love to hear his stuff. After some time went by, he finally said to himself, you know what, bump the doubt. I'm going to try and give him my best. And he put his music out there and now it's on Instagram, it's on YouTube, it's on SoundCloud. And his music is being listened to by tons of people. So to sum up mindset number one, at least try and do your best. Because if you don't try, then you fail anyways. The second mindset about doubt that I want you to understand is that doubt is a direct correlation to fear. We are afraid of failing. We are afraid of something not working out. We are afraid that whatever negative, the worst outcome scenario can actually happen. But just like I said in my YouTube videos, fear is a direct correlation to growth. Think of any successful athlete, musician, or the person that got their career that they've always wanted. Any person that you look up to and you see as successful, that person had to face their fears. They had to apply for the jobs, try out for the teams, constantly be working out in the gym, trying to improve their skills. They constantly faced their fears and doubt that they wouldn't make it. And now look at them today. They're successful and they're doing exactly what they want to do or they're getting much closer to where they want to go because they face that doubt. They face their fears. So the last thing I really want to do is open up to you. I constantly doubt myself. Every single day I do. I doubt that YouTube will be successful. I doubt that this podcast will be successful. I just doubt that I'm going to reach my goals in life when it comes to doing this full time. But at the end of the day, I'm trying my best. I'm trying instead of choosing to fail or choosing to not do anything at all because doing nothing means zero results in the first place. I'm deciding to face my fear, face my doubt, but more importantly, face myself and start to believe that I can do what I'm trying to achieve. Even though I'm doubting myself while doing it, I know that sounds weird, I'm still doing my best and that's all I can do and that's all you can do. I can't control what other people think. I can't control what you think. 
I cannot even control the outcomes, but I can control my actions. And by taking action, you're saying, doubt, I hate you, I can't stand you, but I'm going to face you head on and not allow you to stop me from reaching my goals. This episode was definitely a passionate one, but if you enjoyed it, then leave a review. Leaving reviews really does give this podcast the ability to impact more people and touch more people's lives in a more positive way. So it really means a lot to me if you were to leave a review. But if you also want to support the podcast, then you can support it as a patron. Go to www.patreon.com slash depression talks. That's www.patreon.com slash depression talks to support the podcast and my goals and dreams of doing this full time. All right, I think that is time to end the podcast. So as I always say, do you stay swagalicious and keep smiling. Peace.